In this video, I show you how to use a clock and random integers to make things blink in App Inventor. Okay, we'll start by grabbing a label, and I'll change the text for the label to read text to make blink. I'll also change the font size so it's easier for you to read. We'll go to sensors, grab a clock, I'll make it a hundred milliseconds. That's probably a little fast, but, well, it'll make it blink fast at least, right? And we'll set the text color to make a color, and I'll take these numbers out, delete them, we'll go to math, and choose random integer from 0 to 255. So that's the total range of possible colors that this can make. And now when I bring up the monitor, you can see that the text is blinking random colors. Alright, well let's make some other things blink. We can make uh, a button blink. We can make the background color or the text color for it blank, all sorts of things. Let's make the screen background color blank. And notice how reusable this one piece of code is. So we could just keep changing it from place to place as long as it's within the clock timer, it blinks. All right, well, we'll go to user interface and grab that button that I was talking about. I'll leave that text alone. And now it blinks. I could have many things blinking at once. So I could have the text blinking one color and the background color blinking another color. I don't know why you'd want that. It's pretty ugly, but you can see that it's, it's doable. We could also have these on separate clocks so they don't blink and sync. We'll go to drawing animation, grab a canvas, and we'll make it fill parent for height and for width, and we'll put a ball on the canvas. Now we'll set that ball, the ball color, to be random. And here, let me just make that a little bigger so you can see it. So we'll set the radius to be 40. That's better. All right, and finally, I'll change the color of the canvas as well. So I'll go to canvas one, and I'll set canvas one background color to be our random colors. Disco. Okay, so you can do this for you know all kinds of things, for sprites, for balls, for just about anything you can imagine. I hope you can see that it's it's really simple to make things randomly colored. Next, I'll show you how to make things specific colors.